Hello and welcome to Mastering Unity, The Fundamentals, brought to you by 3dbuzz.com. My name is Zach Parrish. My name is Lee Reno. And we will be your hosts for, I think, like 99% of all of the videos that you're about to watch. And there are a great many videos in this series. But what I want to do here is kind of welcome you to the series. So hi, welcome to the series. And I want to give you a quick explanation of what it is you're about to see, because this series is a little bit on the unique side. Well, I, I guess something can't just be a little unique. It is either unique or it's not. So this is unique in that what we're doing is taking a look at Unity purely from an application standpoint. Now, that said, I'm going to jump over to my very popular uh, whiteboard, which, yes, I know the whiteboard is blue. It's just a, it's a way that I can take notes. So there are two separate ways that we can really approach using Unity. And one is the design aspect. Right. This this is using Unity to build things like levels for a game. And two is the programming aspect. And this is actually making a game with Unity. That's right, because a game is, is more than just a level. It's more than just the rocks and the trees and the terrain and the, the vehicles and all those other things that you see and, and can interact with. It's the underlying logic. It's the underlying code that makes it possible for you to take damage, to shoot at an enemy, to throw a grenade and then hide behind something. Right. Well, Unity is excellent at building something that looks beautiful, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have a lot of mechanics or functionality behind it unless we get into scripting. That's right. And in order to keep things focused and to get you up to speed on Unity itself, this is where we're going to be putting all of our attention in this series. We are not going to be looking at the programming side of it at all. Now, that's not to say that there aren't already some great programming tutorials available from 3D Buzz and even more on the way. And I'll be getting to that by the time we get to the end of this video. But I just want to stress to you that what we're focused on here is really taking a look at Unity almost as if it was a 3D package, such as 3DS Max or Maya. We're going to be using the integrated tools already found within Unity and looking at all of the different things you can create and how to use such tools. Like, if we jump into Unity, what do we see like right off the bat? We see things like terrain. How do you work with terrain? There are particle systems. There are physics and rigid body dynamics and all of these great systems like animation and how do you move objects and how do you light your scenes? All of these topics which don't require any scripting whatsoever that you really need to know how to use in order to make the most of Unity. Right, we're going to teach you how to use Unity as a tool. We're going to go in through how to install Unity, how to work with its interface, and then we're going to dive into the more complex topics of things like terrain and cloth and physics and particles and how you can build systems with that without diving into the scripting aspect of it. That's right. Now there's some other things I want to get across as well. Now that you know that we're really only focusing on the integrated tools within Unity, another point I really want to get across is that you do not, or I'll just say don't, have to watch these videos in a linear fashion. Right. This set of videos is set up as a on-demand reference type library. So you can jump back and forth through the different videos to learn about the topics that you're curious about at the time. Where it's relevant, we're going to be trying to point out important parts from other aspects of other videos in those videos so you've got an understanding of how they work. Right, and what Lee's kind of getting at is that because we're not really expecting you to watch this whole series straight from beginning to end, you might think, oh, well, I want to learn about particles. And you might jump straight to the particle section. You may come across areas where we repeat ourselves because we decided early on that it would be much better for a, a reference-like video setup for us to just repeat and make a few things a little bit on the redundant side as opposed to say to just routing you all over the place saying all right now go watch this video if you want to learn about this and then go watch that video and just sending you everywhere so if you hear us repeating ourselves from time to time as you go through the videos it's just because we're trying to accommodate those who may not be watching this in a straightforward linear manner and even if you're jumping around or linear fashion it's good to get the same topics the important things um, reiterate it over and over again so it sinks in because those topics that we do reiterate over and over again are core concepts that you need to know to make full use of unity that's right now moving on from this video once we actually get done with this little quick introduction where I kinda warm you into the series we're gonna take a quick look at actually getting a hands on unity and talking a bit about unity itself and some of the tools that we can get directly from unity's website that we'll be utilizing in the upcoming videos after that, we are going to 
create our own hands-on Unity world. We're going to build, well, actually the world that you see here. Just a little simple snow world. It's got a little campsite sitting over here. It's got particles, a little tiny campfire, and it's got a rock sitting on a bench warming itself because, you know, rocks get cold too every now and then. We're going to show you how to build all of this no experience required. We're going to hold your hand through the whole thing. So if you've never touched Unity before and you've just got it installed and you've just opened it for the first time, we're going to take you through everything you need to recreate what you see here. Now once that's done, we'll move on from that point into other more specialized topics over individual aspects of Unity. We'll focus in uh, on things such as digging through the user interface and showing you what each one of these panels are and how to work with them. In fact, we'll talk about how you can customize the interface. We'll talk about some of the core concepts behind Unity, such as game objects and prefabs and packages, and how to transform objects and move, rotate, and scale properly. How to work with cameras, how to work with the included character controllers if you want to move around through a world. Like, for instance, because Unity is so awesome at this, we can just hit play at any time and jump right into our game. And we have a fully controllable character, well, a first person character. We can't see the character. Right. But we have a character controller that is moving through the scene right now, and we'll show you how to set that up and how to work with it. We'll also show you how to how to work with the included third person controller that comes along with Unity as well. We're going to take a look at working with lights and lighting up your levels, working with terrains, uh, grabbing the terrain toolkit that is available over on Unity's website if you want to create uh, natural terrains in a more quick, uh, a quick and Expedient, expedient, fashion. intuitive right. it, way. It, it just gives us a, a handful of tools that automate the process, so you don't have to hand paint every bump and ridge and little uh, nuance to your terrain. That's right. We're going to take a look at light mapping. We're going to look at particles, uh, working with trails, rigid body dynamics, and physics. So many of the different integrated tools in, within Unity. We're going to dig through each one piece by piece in its own separate mini series, all underneath. Mastering Unity, the fundamentals. So there's a lot of stuff for you to watch here. Now, with that, oh, we have so much left to cover. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I'd like to do is go ahead and move on into the next video where I'm going to talk to you about how you can get your hands on Unity if you don't already have it. Now, I'll just throw this out. If you just watched this intro, uh, then... Well, this is a starting point. So we're just getting warmed up. Right. So we're going to start off, we just want to let you know what we're going to be um, going into. As each section breaks off, we're going to have another intro explaining what we're about to cover with each one of those intros, where it applies, and this is just a starting point. There is so much more planned that we have for Unity. Well, even uh, beyond mastering Unity, the fundamentals, we have even more advanced topics available from 3D Buzz uh, already, and mo even more that are upcoming. For instance, uh, once you finish here, you might be interested in checking out our third-person controller videos, where we take you through the process of building a complete third-person character controller with a character that comes straight out of Maya, including a camera system to uh, to follow her around. It's a, it's a very high-end video. Right. This is an advanced character rig that has animation, the ability to climb, to jump, mm -hmm. to run. Um, it has the ability with the camera to orbit around the player. The camera is intelligent in the fact that it can detect collisions with the terrain, other objects. It will reposition itself to make sure that the character is never obscured from geometry. And this... This series is going to give you the groundwork that you need to be able to tackle these more advanced topics. That's right. So I mean, you can go from mastering Unity, the fundamentals, to more advanced topics like developing our third-person character system, and even all the way up to even more advanced uh, topics we're going to be making available, such as how to create your own MMO using Unity. Right. Now, this is a project that is currently in development over at 3D Buzz, or it might already be available, depending on uh, the time at which you're watching this. And this is a video series that we're going to be making available as a perk to our member sponsor subscribers. So uh, those who are member sponsors will be able will have the option of sitting in on this uh, this class, this uh, limited seat session, because we're, we're not going to be able to accommodate every single person who comes in. Right. The MMO is such a large project in scope that we want the members who are our member sponsors to partake in this project. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to sit on 
sit in on the sessions where we're talking our, our design meetings and help guide the uh, evolution of this project and adding features and designing levels and quests and things that go into an, an MMO. And I'm so excited about that, uh, that class to go ahead and get started. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Now, why did we choose an MMO? Why didn't we just decide to make, you know, like an Angry Birds clone or something? Yeah, an MMO is almost like a blank check. It's such a large genre of games that it opens up the possibility to do anything with it. Mm -hmm. So any system that we decide we want to tackle, we can go into, develop it, and include it into the MMO. We've got things like AI. You have physics that's built into... Unity, but in some cases we need to modify that because that'll be too intensive for an MMO. Sure. So we'll have to make our own types of physics systems to control different things. We'll have to deal with dealing with a persistent world. Mm -hmm. We have to create a server, the, the server client relationship. So now we get into networking aspects. We'll, there'll be an offshoot because behind the server, we're going to have to have database. So now we've got database integration that we need to tie into. The list of things that we can go into with an MMO is pretty much endless. And, unit, and actually, well, Lee, true to form right there, is just listing off the technical sides of things. I mean, on the artistic side, we've got an entire world that we've got to design along with characters that have to be animated and props that the characters can pick up. I mean, if you're going to have visible gear that can appear on each character, not only do you have to have the underlying code to make that possible, but you've got to go make all that gear. So that's the kind of things we'll be exploring in this MMO class. It's kind of a, an all-inclusive, here's a look at so many different aspects of working with game development in Unity, all focused into making this massively multiplayer right. online experience. And the MMO is extremely technical as far as skill sets. You have to be ready to go for that project. So that's what these introduction projects are for. Right, even starting right here, right here. With, with what I'm going to keep calling Unity Fundamentals for short. Just starting here, familiarizing yourself with Unity as a tool in and of itself, and then branching from there into scripting projects where you can start taking this information that you've gathered on using Unity, combining it with scripting knowledge, and getting more and more comfortable with developing games and game logic using Unity as a tool, and then working your way up to being comfortable enough to handle a large-scale project such as your own MMO. Now, one more time, I just do want to reiterate that the upcoming MMO project is a perk available only to 3D Buzz's member, sponsor, subscribers. For more information on member sponsorship, please pop over to 3dbuzz.com, and you can check out our store where there's plenty of information about member sponsorship, or feel free to drop me a PM or an email on the website. If you've registered for 3D Buzz, which is free, uh, a, a regular membership is completely free, you can PM me on the site at Z-A-K, Zach, uh, over on the site, or you can email me at Zach, Z-A-K, at 3dbuzz.com with any questions you might have about the upcoming MMO course, about member sponsorship in general, and I will help you as quickly as I possibly can to make sure that all of your questions are answered. Now, with that, let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at getting Unity set up on your system along with uh, the various uh, add-ons that we're going to be using. Now, if you've already got Unity running on your machine, you can probably skip the next video, but uh, keep in mind that we will be bringing in at least the terrain assets and the terrain toolkit. So if you want to just go ahead and get those up and running, you can skip the next video. But that will wrap things up for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm excited to get started.